if you were over preparing, let's say, there might be a number of reasons for that. One would be fear. The other would be the desire to impress, let's say. And you can imagine if you were interviewing someone that you were nervous about interviewing, that those two things might arise. But then the faithful path, and I think that's likely what you were searching for, would be to understand that if in the situation you admitted your ignorance properly, the appropriate questions would come to mind. This is one of the things that you see with someone like Joe Rogan. It's one of the reasons I like to talk to Joe is because what Joe does, and this is partly why he's so popular, is that he just asks stupid questions, but they're real. Yep. Right. And so he's willing to admit his ignorance in the moment. If you're an interviewer and you're willing to admit your ignorance, you're never going to run out of questions. And then you don't have to. I mean, you, you want to prepare to some degree, right? Because you, you want to know who you're talking to. You want to be contextually aware. But I want to respect your time. Of course. Yes, that too. That too. I want to respect your so, time.